them was Rich Carlos's field goal in overtime last year. I showed him that videotape, and I said, I want you to feel the joy you experienced last year you, when you won it. Take that into the game with you on Sunday. Well, this may be the time, although it's first down at the 20. Duke has delivered, and it'll be Bernie Kosar with four minutes left to get his chance as Carlos attempts the extra point. Denver 38, Cleveland 31. Just a little screen for Sammy Winder. You let the defensive lineman go through. Winder hides momentarily, and now Winder does his thing. Good running, a missed tackle there, a second missed tackle. Minifield, the second man to miss him. This Cleveland defense has been hurt badly by missed tackle. There's a little mud walk right there. Elway saying, we have the confidence to bring it down the field. Or Cleveland's Bernie Kozo. the 25. Colts 27 nothing. Now it's his turn to rally Cleveland. Up the middle, Biner. And he has 20 to make that 16 yards on a blast that opened quickly. Their own 40 and moving in. On the ground again to Biner. Too many men on the field, and they're sending Mac off. They had 12 men. 30-second clock at four. Kozar underneath to Brennan. Ducks in with the first down at the 44 of Denver. 14 yards on the play. What an alert play. Brennan doing a good job working there on Dennis Smith. Kozar to Brennan again to the 24-yard line at the two-minute timeout. The Cleveland Browns are 24 yards away from tying it again in Denver. One thing that jumps at you, results. These two guys are great winners. What a pair to draw to. Before the snap, the charge by Andre Townsend. And you possibly you share with us what's going on down there. You were there. I got to tell you, the one thing that keeps you calm as a leader like a Kosar and Elwa and their confidence in that huddle, it's apparent that they just take charge out there. Biner. And appears to have a first down or close to as Dennison and Smith outside and picked up that first down at the 13 yard line 38 31 Denver to Biner oh he was lucky he didn't collide with that upright of the goalpost second and ten
sides Denver. Incomplete intended for Langhorn. In essence, a free near their own goal line. These are the toughest yards in football right here. Draw to Biner. Ernest Biner. Fumble. Fumble the ball, and Denver has recovered. Oh, my. Or have they? Let's wait for the official. Don Pilum. There's a war going on under that stack. There it is. Denver's ball at the two-yard line. Biner had the first and goal and lost the ball. Denver's defense, as I mentioned, so often in the past, coming up with the big play, with the turnover, stripping the ball. What a, what a heartbreak for Biner, who had picked up the first down, who was ready to take it into the end zone. Oh. The air goes out of the Cleveland team, the Cleveland sideline. to see how he was dislodged from the football as Denver takes over just outside their two-yard line and they'll be trying to protect the football. Elway figures that's the safest way. Now let's go back to the fumble as Cleveland calls time with a minute and a second left. The same play we saw moments ago. Jeremiah Castile, number 28, reaching in to strip that ball away. This Denver defense trained to reach at that football, to fly, try to force those turnovers. They led the AFC this year in turnovers. There is Jeremiah Castile doing what he was trained to do.